Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into the explosive situation between Safari and Erica Mina. This messy drama has taken social media by storm, with surveillance footage, accusations, and receipts flying back and forth. Stick around, because we're breaking it all down for you. Safari recently dropped a bombshell 30-minute vlog where he exposed Erica Mina trashing his house in front of their kids. The video shows her smashing furniture and going on a rampage while the kids looked on. But that's not all. He also posted footage of his daughter crying, refusing to go back to Erica's house. Safari claims she ruined their child's summer camp plans too, which sparked even more tension. This isn't just about child support or custody anymore. Safari is now accusing Erica of emotional outbursts and even claims she injured him, showing off a gash on his forehead. Things got ugly real fast. I have to put myself first because I'm either going to end up in jail or worse because I'm dealing with someone who is just whose anger management is just non-existent when I when you have children with somebody who at the end of the day it, it shouldn't even have happened because I should have just noticed certain things when it came to parenting. You know, when you, you're with someone for three years and they have a child and you probably saw the child three to four times because the child was put off to go live with somebody else. But when you aren't with somebody and it doesn't work out and the two of you are just like, in a weird space and everything is a fight, especially in front of the kids, like I'm not gonna subject myself to that. My kids have never, ever seen me upset. My kids have never heard me yell. Bitch, you're you're dead to me. The top of you're dead to me. Yeah, you are too. No, you you yeah. is dead. You're you been dead more than I need you. No. That's just not in me. It's just done off of spite and being malicious intent on the other end. Me, I don't move like that. I don't live like that. You know, when people look at me, I don't look like I'm carrying stress. I don't look like I'm losing weight. I don't look like, like I'm just harboring so much hate inside me that it physically begins to show. I was filming Love and Hip Hop, Miami, and I had my kids here calling, oh, who, who, where are the kids at? What are they doing? Oh, you better not be filming with the kids. Oh. First of all, I've, I've never filmed with the kids. Now, ever. Erica didn't stay quiet. In a statement to TMZ, she expressed deep sorrow over how their situation has spiraled out of control. Erica vowed to put an end to the turmoil, saying she's committed to focusing on their children's well-being. She's relying on the justice system to resolve things fairly and wants to provide a stable environment for their kids. But at the same time, she hit back, calling Safari surveillance footage, ancient news from 2023. Erica brought her own receipts to the table, showing more recent events and alleging Safari's ongoing lies about her. The drama escalated even further on social media. Erica didn't just defend herself. She took shots at Safari, revealing Instagram DMs where she claimed Safari was a stalking, her new NFL player boyfriend. Safari, on the other hand, said he was only trying to confirm the relationship to put an end to the alleged harassment. It's clear that both parties are airing their grievances publicly, but what's really at the heart of this is their children's future. Despite all the chaos, Erica insists her priority is their kids' long-term happiness. At the end of the day, 
This situation is heartbreaking for everyone involved, especially the kids. With both Erica and Safari taking their fight to social media and the courts, it's hard to know how or when this will end. Hopefully, for the sake of their family, they can find a way to co-parent peacefully. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more celebrity news and updates from the red carpet re -up. See you next time.